Hello YouTubers, um, this is one of my videos where I want to introduce the power, the Tesla power, but not the Tesla power, but something very close to it. This time around, we're going to use the 18650 batteries to do or to produce a Tesla power. This right here is one of the battery packs. This is called a battery pack. Now, this is a battery pack of 40 batteries. We we'll have 40 of these in here. And uh, each of these has a range of, or a nominal voltage of 3.7. One of these. So this is a 3.7 nominal voltage battery pack pack of 40 here okay so uh, you i'll show you some videos of the whole setup where i have a luminous inverter charging the whole system and um, where i have the charge controller which I use to monitor the voltage the whole voltage of the system and other things which I'm going to show you but actually I need to warn you that this is not for everyone everybody cannot make Tesla power walls this is a very dangerous thing to have in your house it, it takes someone that is very very technical and understands the system to be able to make this and maintain it so please if you don't understand electricity and batteries and inverters, please don't try this at home. Nevertheless, you can use it for a lot of purposes. You can use it to replace your Tesla power walls. If you cannot afford the Tesla power wall, then you can do this for yourself. But you really need to monitor it. You can use a BMS to regulate the voltage, the charging and everything. But at the same time, you have to be very careful with it. But anyway, I had to process the batteries and make them into a full system of uh, 24 volts. I decided to use a 24 volt because I have a 24 volt um, inverter. And the inverter 24 volt is most uh, suitable for this kind of batteries. For a reason because if you try 12 volts you might have a problem with the disparity in charging and they might overcharge if you use a 12 volt because you may have to connect four in series and four in series will give you a, a lower uh, charge rate but if you make three in series it will charge better but it might be overcharged so um, 12 volts is not really ideal and that's why I decided to use the 24 volts and thank God I have a luminous inverter which I use to charge them at 24 volts and uh, the 24 volt system charges at 29.2 you know that is the best the inverter can charge and that's good for me because they don't get to be overcharged so it's a nice system and it's been working for some months now and, and that's it so I just want to introduce you to the system and maybe you can ask me more questions if you like then I'll explain more but just to recap this is one of the packs we call it a pack and uh, this is one of the pack and we'll have, I have seven in a row like this, making the 24 volt uh, battery pack. So I just want to show you, you can find other videos on how to make this. Uh, this is the boss bar and some of the fusings you can get from, you know, lo your local store. You know, where you can buy the wires and make them into boss bars and uh, other things. So this is the battery pack, one of the packs. And I decided to use this 4T battery pack for a reason. The reason is it is easier for me to maintain. I can remove one of the packs. Like this one is running down the system. 
it's always going below the charge rate. So I tried, I decided to remove it, to fix it up, to remove the batteries. I'm going to dismantle everything and find out the batteries, or if possible, change all the batteries and put it back into the system and start to work again. And as I remove this, the system is still working just by removing this. So that's the good thing about making them into modules. I decided not to do the huge battery packs of a hundred or eighty and all that for a reason because those ones are very difficult to maintain. You may have to pull out the whole system down before you, because you want to maintain it. So that's why I chose this and it's been working nice for me. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do more videos on this power wall and I hope you are going to give me your contribution so say something down the comment line on what you want me to do next and I'll do it for you on power or any other thing on my channel so I want to thank you again for being here thank you again and I want to beg you to subscribe right now subscribe if you've not because more videos are coming your way and you're not going to regret it